Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. Quick news update for you guys on Disney Plus Hotstar launching in Indonesia. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So this past weekend, the continued rollout of Disney Plus worldwide continued with Disney Plus Hotstar launching in Indonesia. Now the reason Disney Plus Hotstar was launched there was because they have a large amount of different kind of content that they've got hold of. Over 300 Indonesian movies are gonna be part of Disney Plus Hotstar. This is kind of going to be something they're going to be continuing to go forward. We're also going to be offering um, all the stuff that we see on Disney Plus, you know, all the big things from Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, and National Geographic. There's going to be hundreds and thousands of movies and TV shows available, plus lots of um, different kind of things and, and exclusives that you're only going to find on Disney Plus Hotstar in Indonesia. As part of the launch of Disney Plus Hotstar, there will also be a number of movies available for free, including Black Panther, Four Ragnarok, Cars Free, Cinderella. Cinderella, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Bio, and Titanic 20 years later with James Cameron, along with some of the other content from the region. These free movies will only be available until September the 30th. Due to the local situation in Indonesia, Disney have teamed up with a local communication company called Telekomsi to offer the service since credit card payments are much less common in Indonesia. Disney Plus Hotstar is priced at 39,000 rupiah per month, which works out about $2.64, or priced at nearly 200,000 rupiah which works out only at $13.50 a year. While that might seem cheap for some people in different countries, obviously you've got to take into account that prices can vary between countries and obviously inflation and how much they're earning per hour, etc. So that's why it's a little bit less. The company is also offering some additional options for extra mobile data. And you'll find Disney Plus Hotstar available on the official website along with Android iOS smartphones along with selected Android TVs. Obviously great to see Disney Plus Hotstar launching in other countries and I think we're going to start seeing that a lot more, especially in Asia where Star is a much bigger thing. And I think as we move forward, we've already heard that Disney are very much into the idea of using Star to get extra content onto Disney Plus internationally. And this expansion of Disney Plus Hotstar into Asia I think is a big thing. And ultimately, it's great for those in the area as well. Interesting as well, they're kind of making little changes depending on the country, what needs are required. And hopefully we'll see a little bit more of this going forward. But nevertheless, I'd love to hear your thoughts on if you'd like to see those Indonesian movies on Disney Plus around the world. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Remember to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters. <laughs>